I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Daichi Matsuda, a senior on the gun swimming and diving team. Last week he participated in the SCVL De Anza Division Championships. He competed in four events. First of all, he helped uh, Gunn finish third in the 200 medley relay. He came back to win the 200 IM, set a school record of 151.40. After that, he won the 500 free in uh, 436.11, and then he uh, helped the Gun 400 free relay team win that race in uh, 310.20, a season best, which was a time faster than the team swam last year at the Central Coast Section Championships. Gun ended up winning the league finals meet for the second season in a row, defeating rival Palo Alto, and for that performance, he is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. I guess the underlying theme of last week was winning the league meet title. You were undefeated in dual meets. You uh, had to finish ahead of Palo Alto to win the overall league championship, which you did. And so I guess that was the big goal and what you had to be most proud about. Um, I was just proud of how our team kept it together during prelims and kept it together during finals. We were able to put three to four people up per event, which is something that we haven't done that many or that much. Like it was probably better than last year's leagues, which was really good for us. Um, and yeah. Our team's our team's depth is a lot better this year. Um, the incoming or the returning swimmers and the incoming swimmers all contributed a lot, which really helped out. Did you know after the prelims earlier in the week that things were wrapped up? I, Pally's coach even felt that you guys had it had it won even before the the finals. Yeah, um, our coach told us that 400 points was definitely no matter what, as long as we don't get disqualified we'll get 400, which is what we needed to win. So at that point, our goal was to get 500 points um, just from swimming. We almost did, but we didn't. But it was a good effort, and everyone swam really fast, and we had a lot of CCS qualifiers on Friday, which was really awesome. People are talking about this this year's gun team as, as being perhaps the best in school history because of its depth and its top talent, uh, which brings uh, to mind the CCS championships uh, Bellerman has, has won 31, 32 straight section titles. They've been unbeatable over the decades. Uh, but the word is surfacing that Gunn and or Pally has a chance to finally beat Bellerman. Do you, are you guys even thinking that? Uh, yeah, that has been our goal since last year. Um, just knowing that we have the depth, uh, we just need to do as well as we did at leagues, put people in finals, and hopefully swim fast at finals and uh, beat Bellarmine. Right now I think it's more Pally because Bellarmine's team is a lot younger. And um, yeah, it's just Gun versus Pally at this point. Wow, that sounds good. Uh, after the CCS meet uh, will be the second annual state championships. You swam last year, uh, probably had races that you weren't super pleased with. You'd like to get into the championship finals this year. And down the road, you're trying to qualify for the Olympic trials. Um, and that still has to be done. How, how do you sort of get ready for all these meets? And then with the idea, you also need a qualifying time for Olympic trials. Um, I think it's definitely just taking one meet at a time so that you don't overwhelm yourself and just trusting what the coaches have done for me so far. Um, just the training, trust my training and just let it happen, I think. Good luck to the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you so much.